In a previous video, we took a look at a quick way to add animations for your MetaHuman's body so that you could quickly jump into animating your sequence or your cinematic. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at another way to do this if you are looking to pull animations from the marketplace or from a third party source. A lot of the animation packs on the marketplace are still on the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton. If that's the case, this is how you can still use those animations for your MetaHuman. So I've imported the generic NPC anim pack from the marketplace. And I chose this one because it has an animation in here for a sit idle animation that I thought would be nice for the scene I'm putting together. Uh, but as you can see, it's for the UE4 skeleton. That's not an issue for us since with UE5, the retargeter allows you to switch between any supported skeleton for your source or target. So in the past, you would have to go through two or three steps to retarget from the UE4 skeleton to the MetaHuman skeleton. In the past, you would select your animation in the content drawer. You would right click, go to retarget anim assets and duplicate and retarget. And then you would select your retargeter or your skeleton um, even before that. So here, you know, we, we could select the, the retargeter and we would have to retarget from UE4 to UE5. And then we could then jump into our mannequin retargeter here that was set up with the Manny skeleton and retarget that new animation to the MetaHuman. But the nice thing now is that we can skip over that, that first step. We can just jump right in and change the source mesh here to our, our UE4 mannequin. And we want the skeleton from the generic NPC pack. So that's this one. Okay. If you do run into issues where with the actual animation, once you've previewed it, I would say fall back to that previous method. Um, so that's a more tested way to do it, but otherwise this will be a quicker way for you. So let's search for our, our sit animation and select that. So that looks pretty good. Actually, I don't think we'll have too many issues. We might need to make adjustments within sequencer for the hand going through the, the leg here. Um, and then other than that though, that looks pretty decent. So from there, let's go ahead and just export this animation. Let's drop it into our cinematics animations folder and we'll hit export. Okay. And let me drag the content drawer over and here is the animation we just exported. Without any additional steps, we we just retargeted an animation from the UE4 mannequin onto our MetaHuman. So let me go ahead and add that to my scene here. I don't think I've created a sequence yet, so let me, I'll add a level sequence. Into it here, sitting sequence. And let's track our actor in the sequencer. Let's delete the control rig. Yeah. And then for the body, we will add our sitting animation to our character. There we go. And there's some adjustment that we'll need to do here, I think. Um, you know, with the, sh it looks like the shoulders kind of twisted in a weird way. And if we're going to end up doing facial capture, we'll probably want to uh, adjust the neck here, or maybe we'll, we'll animate the neck with the, with the live length. And I think the, maybe the spine could use a little work, but besides that, and maybe this hand here, other than that, though, I think that came out pretty good. So I don't think there's really anything else we want to do beyond that. You know, now we can we can slide him back here. You know, and then there's obviously some work to some other work to do to you know get him to lean against my chair here. But besides that, that looks pretty decent. So that is another way to to add some animations to your character again. This is if you're, you purchased a, a, a third party pack or you have the, the NPC pack. I think it was um, one of the free marketplace content packs in the past. Um, so if you have that pack and you 
are needing to go from the UE4 mannequin to metahuman, you can do that easily by using the, the IK retargeters that um, Epic has provided for us. So with that, we're going to wrap up this video. Thanks again for watching, and until next time.